Hey, what's up? It's now welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Seattle, Washington's Foul of Worms on Caligari Records. Probably one of the heaviest yet nastiest slabs of death doom to come out of the Pacific Northwest. Thank you, MP, for fucking hooking this up. This is sick as fuck. And got a nice letter as well. Very much appreciated. And I really appreciate also hoping my shoulder gets better and whatnot. I really should go get my x-rays and MRIs done. You are absolutely correct, but... Fuck yeah. Foul are just so fucking good. Like, I love it. Because they play like sickening death doom metal, but when it comes to the more doomy aspects, it's more rooted in like traditional doom instead of like, you know, evoking or something like that. It's fucking sick. Like, it doesn't go the funeral route. It goes like the early Paradise Lost route. It's fucking amazing. And yeah. Of Worms by Foul is so fucking good. That really needs a vinyl release. It's just such a kick ass like release. Every track on here is amazing. Fuck yeah. And speaking of fuck yeah, this next comp. Now, before this came out. I knew this band as a kind of industrial, like, deity, kind of, where it was kind of total godflesh worship from the Bay Area, but in the 90s, Depressor ended up changing their sound and going a lot more death metal mixed with punk, and this comp right here, Hellstorms Over Earth, on Sentient Ruin. Sentient Ruin is so fucking good. I can't get over how sick this is. Like, I'll read the hype sticker real quick. The final and ultimate commendium of long out of print and never before heard tracks from San Francisco's iconic crust punk slash death metal cult. 18 stabs of raw and visceral apocalyptic punk metal destruction. And that pretty much sums this bad boy up. Fuck yeah. This is nasty, dirty, crusty death metal. That's just littered with punk like a punk's littered with fleas. This is awesome. I love this type of stuff. Especially when it's done right. And sometimes I feel like crusty punk metal bands, like His Hero is Gone, for example, sometimes are heavier than straight up metal bands. But speaking of which, I can't wait for the new Nightfell. That's going to be a banger. Keep your eyes open for that. But Depressor on Sentient Ruin Records. I'm so stoked that this comp got released. It's just fucking gorgeous in every way. And the sound on here is not only punk as fuck. It's loud. It's dirty. And it's just a giant like fuck you. And it's great. I love it. It, it seriously, like... I'm not the biggest, like, metal punk fan. I'm very picky about it. Now, I am a fan of it. I, I love this type of stuff. Because it's done properly. And Hellstorms Over Earth is just one of those releases that's just amazing. And all recordings, unproduced... Oh, underproduced by Depressor. 1998, 
to 2006. And uh, Dan O'War at Mammoth Sound mastered this. And all artwork is by Chris Oxford. And Chris just fucking killed it here. Like, look at this. Wow. Fuck yeah. Just sick shit. And this border right here was uh, drawn by the front man. And um, Hellstorm's Over Earth was the title of a split 7 inch with Disclose. Frontman uh, Kawakami said that as a nod to the presser, they were going to write darker, heavier music for the split than the Disbone style they were playing at this time. In turn, we felt the evil metal style we had shifted in the early 2000s didn't fit the release, so we dug up three unused songs from our late 90s war-obsessed political era. The split was not to happen, however, due to the sudden passing of our friend Kawakanami on 6507. We shelved the recording where it has sat for over 10 years, but Kawakanami was a fan and I think, and we think he would want these songs to finally see the light of day. We managed to find an old letter on which he, on which he had drawn a skull and a border. So as a tribute, we have used it here on the lyric sheet. This release contains the three songs recorded in 2006 for the Disclosed Split, followed by previously unreleased material recorded between 1998 and 1999, dedicated to Kawakanami. Fuck yes. I couldn't think of a better tribute, to be honest with you, because this is seriously so fucking just dirty sounding, heavy, punk as fuck and yet it still just is reeking of metal and it's great it's fucking great the mix of death metal vocals with like punk vocals it's such a departure from their early like god flesh more industrial influenced material it's like night and day and i love it and the artwork here, again, like I was saying, it's fucking brilliant. Like, Oxford killed it with the art design here. Like, look at this side. On side two. Wow. And I'm colorblind, but this is, I think, Oxblood red. I always thought it was pink, but it's sick. Really heavy-duty vinyl. It's just a very, very nice comp. And if you're a fan of, like, crusty metal punk, yo, add that death metal into that, and fuck yes. That is pretty much Depressor, Hellstorms, Over Earth. Wow. With tracks like Body Count Rise, You Are What You Torture, Flesh World War, Red Tape Mummification, Rebellion, The Hypnotist, Some Hit Back, Shit Sandwiches, Clandestine, Mob Justice, Cities to Ash, Lethargic... Something, sorry. The Fight, Mold, Subsystem, War Whores, which is a bad-ass song. It feeds on children, Warhammer, and shortwave conspiracy make up this comp right here. And if you're a fan, like I said, of metal punk in general, just replace the regular metal with death metal. And yeah. Depressor, Hellstorms over Earth is filthy, crusty, Political based metal just done so fucking right for fans of Nightfell, Tragedy, Neurosis, 
early neurosis, I would say. But still, this is so fucking good. And like coming from San Francisco, you're coming from the Bay Area where neurosis was birthed alongside so many other bands that started as metal punk bands but not too many going the death metal punk route but when bands do it and they do it well it's totally worth your time and when you hear a track like body count rise you're just gonna be like holy shit this is so heavy awesome and the bass tone on here wow and hails to Sentient Ruin for putting this out to begin with because this is one of those bands that like I've heard some of their material like I said but you know this is all mostly unreleased stuff and it's fucking sick. Every track on here is great. Some of the production is hit or miss and it's a fucking punk metal record so it's something that you should, you know, expect. But the first three tracks are probably my favorite on here, though. Body Count Rise is so fucking sick. You Are What You Torture. Flesh World War. Just amazing, amazing. Crusty metal with that death edge to it that just makes it so sick. I love the vocals. It's just a bad-ass, riff-filled, nihilistic listen, and it's great. Hellstorms over Earth. If you've never heard of Depressor, what a better place to start. Like, seriously. Hellstorms over Earth, it's filthy, it's heavy, it's punk as fuck, and at the same time, metal as fuck. And for a band to be able to balance death metal alongside punk it's not an easy task to do and make it listenable and just chock full fucking riffs I love this release thank you John Randall thank you Sentient Ruin for also you know having faith in a release like this and hails to the presser for you know, writing songs this fucking gnarly. Awesome, awesome stuff. Depressor, Hellstorms over Earth. Fuck yeah. And we were blasting Seattle, Washington's Foul of Worms on Caligari Records. Just a massive fuck yeah. This long sleeve is fucking awesome. I'm not sure when these go up for sale, but again, I will put a Bandcamp link below. They are almost sold out of tapes. Just a heads up. I think there's like five left. So, I would get on this, but they do have CD copies available. I don't know if this is getting a vinyl release. I'll probably hit up MP actually, because this totally deserves to be on vinyl and it's amazing. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails to Foul and hails to John Randall for making this video possible. And as always, you maniacs for watching. Hey.